Hi, this is Chapter 1, Lesson 9, Direct Variation for Gryffindor Math. Okay, This is actually our last lesson in Chapter 1. And so we've been talking about constant rate of change and slope in our last two lessons. Well, direct variation is very similar to slope and constant rate of change. In fact, it's almost exactly the same thing. So what you've used in slope and what you've used in constant rate of change, you'll also be using in direct variation, okay? So the first thing that I wanna look at is actually a definition over here. It says a linear relationship is a blank blank when the ratio of y to x is a constant k. We say y varies directly with x. So in those two blanks, you're going to write direct variation. Okay, so direct variation, it's a linear relationship. Remember we talked about linear, linear means line. So it forms a line, okay, when the y to x are constant. That means they're the same. Remember we talked about that in constant rate of change and we talked about it, that in slope, okay? So the other thing I wanna look at is this right here. It says y over x equals k, or y equals k times x, where k cannot be zero, okay? So basically what this means is that it's a constant rate. So I can multiply anything by x and k and get a new y. All right, and anytime, so let's say y was four and x was two. Well, four divided by two would give me two. So that means if I plug in two back here, I'm gonna get four, right? Because two times two is four. So let's look at a couple more blanks to fill in. Okay, the next section down. When two variable quantities have a constant ratio, remember constant's the same, their relationship is called a blank blank. In those two blanks, you're going to write direct variation. Okay, so when two variable quantities have a constant ratio, their relationship is called a direct variation. So the constant ratio is called the blank, blank, blank. It's called the constant of variation. Constant of variation, okay? The constant of variation is also known as the blank, blank, blank. It's also known as the constant of proportionality. Constant of proportionality, okay? In a direct variation equation, the constant rate of change or blank, remember from last time, constant rate of change and slope are the same thing. So in a direct variation equation, the constant rate of change or slope is assigned a special variable k. So that's the variable that's assigned to it. Okay. So let's look at two problems down here. So this first problem, the time it takes Luke Lucia to pick pints of blackberries is shown in the graph. Determine the constant of proportionality. Okay, so since the graph forms a line, the rate of change is constant. Use the graph to find the constant of proportionality. So we can see that this line is straight and it goes through zero, zero, right? So then I can look at my rate of change. So I go up from zero to 15, that's my first rate. And I go over one. So I went up to 15 and over one. So that's my change in Y is 15 over my change in X, which is one. So 15 over one, okay? 
I could have done 30 over 2 or 45 over 3. They would have all simplified to 15 over 1. So that means it takes 15 minutes, 15 minutes for Lucia to pick one pint of blackberries. Okay, so y is directly related to x. 15 minutes is your y, one pint is your x. All right, now let's look at the second problem. There are 12 trading cards in a package. Make a table and graph to show the number of cards in the packages. Is there a common rate, a direct variation? Okay, so let's look. So the first one I have is 12 to one. So this is my X, this is my Y, right? Because I have packages, cards over here, right? So packages, I have 12 to one, 24 to two, 36 to three, 48 to four, okay? So every time this is increasing by 12. So plus 12, plus 12, plus 12, right? Every time it goes up by 12. So because there's a constant increase of 12 cards, there's a constant rate of change, okay? The equation relating the variable is y equals 12 times x. So y, the number of cards, equals 12 times the number of packages. So basically I can plug in any number I want for x and it will tell me how many cards I have. So if I had two packages, I could do 12 times two, which equals 24, and that matches what I have in the table. So where y is the number of cards and x is the number of packages, this is a direct variation. The constant of proportionality, constant of proportionality is 12. That's the number it goes up by every time, okay? And you can see that in the graph. I go up 12, over one, up 12, over one. So every time I'm going up and over by the same amount. I go up 12 and over one, up 12 and over one, okay? So now there are two try it problems. I want you to go ahead, pause the video, and try them out on your own. After you're done, we'll go over them together. All right, so now that you've had a chance to look at the triad problems, let's look at them together. The first triad problem says two minutes, two minutes after a driver enters the water, or diver enters the water, he has descended 52 feet. After five minutes, he has descended 130 feet. At what rate is the scuba diver descending? So the key information, two minutes, 52 feet, five minutes, 130 feet, okay? So, when I'm asking about rates, I'm usually asking about feet per minute or something along those lines. So that tells me my feet is going to be my change in Y, okay? And my minutes are going to be my change in X. So those are the two important numbers that I'm gonna look at. So I'm gonna come over here to my workstation. Just a little bit so you can see. Okay. So I have 52 feet for two minutes, right? I wanna figure out my constant rate. Hundred and thirty feet for five minutes. Okay. So it doesn't matter which one I use, okay, so I can find a constant of proportionality 
regardless of which one I use. All right, so I'm gonna take my handy calculator and I'm gonna type in 52 divided by two. And I get 26. So this is 26 feet per minute, right? I can double check and make sure that it works with both of them. So I'm gonna take my calculator and do 130 divided by five. 130 divided by five also gives me 26. So that checks out, which means there's a constant of proportionality, okay? So this tells me, come back over here, okay? This tells me the diver descends, descends means to go down, 26 feet per minute. So every minute the diver goes down 26 feet, okay? Let's look at the second try it problem. It says two pounds of cheese cost $8.40. Show the cost of one, two, three, and four pounds of cheese. Is there direct variation? Explain, okay? So it says two pounds of cheese, two pounds of cheese, that's two pounds, and it costs $8.40, okay? So those are the important information I need to know. So I'm gonna take $8.40 divided by two pounds, okay? So I'm gonna take my calculator. I'm gonna say 8.4 zero divided by two and I get 4.2. This tells me four dollars and twenty cents per one pound of cheese. Okay, they wanted us to make a table. So here's my table. Okay, so this is going to be pounds and this is going to be price. All right, so the first one, so for one pound was 420, for two pounds was 840, for three pounds, so I can take my 420, and multiply it by three, and I get 12.6, so 1260. Okay, I can do the same thing for the next one. 420 times four gives me 1680. Okay, so that means I have a direct variation, right? Okay. So I have a direct variation because they're all going up by the same amount each time. So I'm gonna come back over here and write that down, okay? So I've got my chart, I'm gonna draw my chart. I got pounds, money, one was 420, two was 840, three was 1260, and four was 1680, okay? It also told, asked me if there was a direct variation and to explain it, okay? So, there is a constant increase of $4.20. So there is a constant rate of change. The equation is y equals 420 times x. This is a direct
variation. The constant of proportionality is four dollars and twenty cents. Okay, so this tells me it is a constant increase. It does increase by four twenty every time, four dollars and twenty cents every time. This is the equation I'm going to use. I can plug it in at any time. So any x value I have, I can plug it in and figure out what my y is. And it's a direct variation, so I have to have a constant of proportionality. And that is the end of chapter 1, lesson 9.